Jesus. What is it? You gotta put water on the peat, peel them open, put your seeds in, and then once it starts to sprout, you put it in the sunlight, and then you plant it in Bob's your uncle. The next day, I'm gonna be germinating some super hot pepper seeds. We got some primatali seeds on the go here. Uh, I've never germinated seeds this way before. This is made by Jiffy. And it says the professional way to start seeds and cuttings indoors. So we'll see about that, Jiffy. <laughs> but, you know, I want to start this now, guys. You know, it basically, when you start your seeds, you want to have about an eight-week time period before you put them outside. And it all does depend on which zone you were in. So we are in zone freeze your mutter effing ass off or get back inside zone. And that's one of the warmer zones in Canada. That's the zone we're in, right? But I do have a light. I do have a light. And my plan is to start them inside. And then we're just going to keep them inside until the weather gets warm. Nice and warm here. Uh, you just basically want to be able to put them outside without killing the roots as the temperatures get colder through the night, right? So that's where I'm thinking. That's where my plans are at. And with super hots, guys, it takes a lot longer sometimes for the super hot to develop over other regular peppers or even not as hot peppers. So with the primatali, I want to give them lots of time. I'm just going to show you guys one pod. Hopefully this will work well. So it is kind of like a little greenhouse. It has a dome. Like, look at that. How cool is that? Right? Has the dome already. And I thought, you know what? This could be a good way. It's all in one. It seems like it could be easy. So let's give you a shot, right? So I'm just going to go two. Let's go one. Seems like a lot of... Uh, and it should absorb, and then you peel the thing back. We're going to go a couple of them here, I guess. Yeah, I think something like that. And then it absorbs. Let me go one more. We'll go one more. Oh, what the hell? We'll go a bit in there like this. Okay, so that's how we're looking. I kind of got all these ones here. We'll do this whole row. It should absorb now. Expand. We peel the top off. Put our seeds in. Once they sprout and you put them in the soil, then Bob's your uncle. 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 Let's see. Can we pull one off yet? No. Wait now, wait now, wait now. No. What the hell's going on? All right, we got it looking like that so far. I think it might need more water. I don't know what's going on now. I... Oh, serenity now, serenity now. So my understanding was that it was supposed to come off, like the top was supposed to come off somehow. And then you put your seed in. Or is that as, no. That don't make, what the, maybe this whole neck comes off. Does it? No. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. From you son of a bitch. You son of a... <sighs> Piece of shit! Day two. Okay, this is germinating. Super hot. Day two. Uh, I went and got another kit from the store, so I realized my mistake after watching an instructional video on YouTube, which is probably something I should have done before I did day one, 
<laughs> like that's a life lesson for everybody, all of us out there, right? Sometimes things don't always go to plan and it's always good if you're unsure, maybe to watch, there's always lots of great instructional uh, tutorial videos on YouTube that you can go check out first before trying anything like this. Despite what your spouse may tell you prior, okay? So let's, what we're going to do guys, I'm going to add, we're going to, this one here has 16 pod, uh, peat pods. We're going to add hot water to them and uh, we're going to fill them with our primatali seeds. Hopefully we're successful this time and triumphant, right? All right guys, let's take this off. There, there's our peat pods. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start filling it, guys. Filling the tray up with hot water. And you can see them expanding already, some of them. Or no, they're floating. Okay, never mind. But I think we want to cover them all. We're gonna add one more. Number two, going in. Okay, let's leave it that. Primatali seeds. Okay, guys, I'm just going to try to open each one of these up, and my God, that is heavy. <laughs> what a difference. She sucked up all that water. Okay, now let's just start trying to open each one up. Try to loosen the soil in through the top. We'll go down just a little bit in each one. Just enough to get a seed in. You don't want to go down too far. I seen the one channel I watched, they kind of cut this whole mesh open. But you know what? We're not gonna we're gonna kind of leave the peat as is. We're just gonna make enough for a seed to sprout. Maybe it'll help prevent a little unnecessary contamination. <laughs> So there you go guys. We got a couple of primatali seeds in some. We got some singles and others. So it should be interesting. I'm very interested to see if we'll get a germination rate on the go and what the percentage of germination will be for the for the amount of seeds we got in here. I'm excited. So I'll keep you guys posted. And you know, I'm hoping once we put the lid on, I don't have a heat mat as well. But my plan is to use a heater and maybe a towel and once if we do get any kind of germination on the go i will remove the dome at that point and we'll put them under a light so hopefully we can provide the right kind of conditions to get some germination on the go and uh like i said i'll let you guys know and you know i guess bob was my uncle <laughs>